The AR-15 rifle has been around since about 1958. That's coming up in the next four years on 60 years of the AR-15 M16 being used in various forms all along, all across the world for that matter. And over that time, a lot of parts have been upgraded, a lot of uh, technologies have advanced to make the AR-15 a reliable, dependable rifle. So what we're going to look at today is the Sharps Rifle Company, which of course Sharps has been in business since 1840. Uh, of course, the Sharps rifle is world-renowned, it's legendary. And, you know, obviously things change, but they're out of Wyoming, and they have upgraded a standby in your AR-15 rifle, or M16 for that matter, and that is a bolt. This is the most important part next to the barrel of your rifle. This is what receives the most impacts when rounds are fired. With these locking lugs, the way they fit into the barrel and they turn, coming in and out, uh, these take a lot of abuse. Your standard bolt, which here we have a typical uh, Carpenter 158 steel bolt, uh, the technology for these has been increased over the years and this is, has been a reliable system. But we're going to look at some of the advantages of the Reliabolt by Sharps. And there are some advantages here that I think we need to really look at. Now if you're just a plinker and you're going to get out and you're just going to shoot a little bit here and there, the Reliabolt may be an overkill. But if you're like me, I have a rifle for home defense and for self-defense and for whatever situation may come around. Upgrading your rifle and putting confidence in your rifle is just a smart way to go. And if you don't need it, hey, better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. Now, there are a number of advantages that the Reliabolt has over your standard mil-spec bolt. And the first being that these are made of S7 steel which is a really high impact steel. I mean, these are made for high impacts, high temperature, uh, repeated impacts. And of course, that really falls in line with what a bolt is made for, especially if you're firing a lot of ammunition out of your rifle. So the heat treating that goes into these is a proprietary process by Sharps, so they don't really reveal that. But one way to gauge the difference between S7 steel and 158 carpenter steel is that S7 steel is has a 75% stronger tensile strength. Also, it has a 60% more yield strength than your standard bolt. So immediately, this is a stronger bolt system. And it's going to give you more life, just straight up. But one of the real important advantages of this bolt system are the tapered lugs. Now, you can see where they're tapered back and into different shapes. Now here we have your standard mil spec bolt, and as you can see, they're squared off lugs. And you may say, what is the advantage of that? So when your lugs engage with the chamber, these are squared off. So anything inside the chamber can potentially clog up. Whereas with the Reliabolt, debris is not held in, it doesn't hold the teeth into place. So you're going to be able to turn free even if you have fouling and debris, sand, whatever else inside your chamber. This is going to allow for the bolt to actually cam into place. As your bolt enters into the chamber of your barrel, it goes into one of the seven locking lugs and then it locks into place. The cam pin right here will is forced to turn the bolt and lock it into place and this holds it secure and then as it releases it pulls out now the two areas on your bolt that receive the most stress are the two uh, locking lugs right here and here on either side of your extractor so those two locking lugs receive the most and of course as it goes into the chamber and any debris or anything that's inside this chamber area you're going to be able to bypass it with this bolt system because of the tapered lugs. Now that's not really a problem if you're able to maintain your rifle and you're able to clean it. I mean it would really have to get fouled up for that to happen, but more battlefield conditions that could really be a problem. If you're just a plinker, you don't have to worry about that. But bolts can shear. These lugs can come apart. The bolt itself, especially right here where the cam pin hole is, because that's your weakest point right here and here. And having stronger steel is going to keep that from breaking. And this is an area that can potentially break. And the Reliabolt can take up to 200,000 PSI before failure. And that's pretty incredible. 
uh, it resists softening the S7 steel uh, at high temperatures which is also a really important feature because these rifles do get really hot if you're firing especially sustained fire now these bolts have been tested at 7500 rounds consistently at one time and then there's also another test where 10,000 rounds were put through the bolt without any failures this actually shot out the barrel before the bolt failed now another important feature is that on your standard mil spec bolt uh, it has a phosphate finish which nothing wrong with that I, most of my bolts do have phosphate finishes I do have some nickel boron bolts uh, which really mainly help in self-cleaning uh, and when I say self-cleaning I don't mean they clean themselves it's just really easy that the fouling doesn't adhere the carbon doesn't adhere to the surface like it does on a phosphate or anodized finish because there is a little bit of resistance on this finish on the Relia bolt it has an mp3 coating which is a Teflon based coating and it's really thin but it's super strong and this keeps any kind of fouling from holding on to the surface and if you when you're filling this it's just super slick I mean you can feel the Teflon how slick it is here there's definitely resistance and you know it's gonna pick up grime it's gonna pick up fouling and that's just the nature of these bolts and if you've ever cleaned an AR bolt you know how especially around this area the fouling can really build up on a nickel boron or even more importantly on an mp3 bolt uh, there's less of that that's going to happen in fact anything that does build up a little bit it's easy to wipe off uh, this is also self lubricating which means because it's so slick you're going to be able to fire a lot more rounds with less lubrication now that doesn't mean that you don't run regular lubrication on your bolt because it's definitely going to help but if you do run dry it's not going to lock up like it will on a standard mil spec bolt now the extractor retains the carpenter 158 steel and that and it's also a phosphate finish on the extractor which if it were mp3 teflon it could actually cause some issues uh, with slickness you don't you want it to be able to really grab hold of that brass and pull it forward so they retain the carpenter 158 steel but the fit and finish of this bolt is just exceptional uh, it does use your standard gas rings same as on your mil spec bolt uh, but otherwise this is a really superior system now the rely bolt drops into your bolt just like your standard mil spec bolt and uh, just going to demonstrate it in case you've never uh, had any experience Go ahead and get your cam pin hole lined up right here. Drop your cam pin in to place. Then go ahead and rotate your cam pin to allow your firing pin to insert. Then just then just drop in your firing pin. Your firing pin retainer pin, just put it into place. And you're done. You're ready to go. But one of the great things about the Reliabolt, it has a lifetime warranty. And not only for you, but for whoever owns this, it's just going to carry a lifetime warranty. So if there are any problems with the Reliabolt, you can send it back to Sharps and they'll replace it. Of course, you've got an extra bolt. If you have a system you want to throw the bolt into your uh, spare parts, of course, there you have it. And this is not a waste. So it's just great to have, especially if you're like me and I have multiple rifles. So I always like to have some bolts around. Uh, because bolt carriers typically hold up extremely well. The biggest problem you're going to have is the gas key uh, that usually can, if it's not staked properly or it can come loose, uh, this is your biggest issue with your bolt carrier. And if you want to see what a properly staked gas key, these are properly staked. Good and solid. You can see the points. Uh, sometimes they're very weak and they're not really holding in the screws. That's what you want to see. But your bolt is where the rubber meets the road. That's where you really have your, your lockup with your, your cartridge. This is where all the pressures are applied to your bolt area and the chamber. So this is one of the most critical parts of your rifle. We've been to the range. We're going to remove the bolt just to take a quick look at it. Um, just tell you right now, we've only fired about 200 rounds through this. So there's going to be a longevity test uh, to really be a testimony to this. But we're just going to look at it. Now I showed assembly of the bolt, we're going to just show you disassembly. And uh, usually take a pair of needle nose pliers, but you can use a shell. Pull that pin out for the firing pin. Here you can see a little bit of the residue on the firing pin. 
course these are chrome plated so they're really easy to clean too. Turn your cam pin, pop it out, out comes the bolt. Now you can see a lot of the fouling that occurs and again this is only about 200 rounds so uh, you can imagine shooting considerably more in here it's going to really affect this and because of the MP3 finish and you guys you know I just did a, a review on the MP3 finish with the Robar system and um, just how slick it is and this is just another one of their processes now all I've done is just wiped it down there's a little discoloration right here uh, the bolt face just wiped it down a little bit and uh, it's still super slick now this is really going to be a long range testing on this bolt we're not going to really get to the meat until we shoot about 10,000 rounds through this and overall I'll do plenty more than 10,000 rounds I'll be listing any kind of um, things that are going on with the Reliable on my Facebook page at Such Fun Gun Reviews Facebook page so and I'll have a link down below for you to check it out now as far as a con of the Reliable it's going to be really hard to find something uh, to criticize about this bolt. Uh, one thing though that a lot of people will consider a con is the price. Uh, the retail price on this is $119 and that's actually more than you'd probably pay for most of your average bolt carrier groups. Uh, right now on the Sharps website you can get the Relia bolt for $79 which is a fantastic price uh, and that's for their introductory offer. But I know there are other places that these are available. So check out the Reliabolt. I think it's an excellent upgrade for your rifle. And you can go to srcarms.com to check it out. Be strong. Be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. And, they're and they have come and they have designed okay, is that it is 75 but one of the most important things about s one of the beautiful things and one of the beautiful things about the and then the relia bolt can and the and the relia bolt and then it actually turns inside the chamber